Hey guys, I'm back with a quick and easy four ingredient peach cobbler recipe. So for this you're going to need some sugar, you'll also need cans of sliced peaches and light syrup, you'll need a couple of bags of Betty Crocker's oatmeal cookie mix, and you'll need margarine or butter. Let's get started. So I'm here pouring in my drained peaches. I'm going to be using four cans for this particular recipe and that'll depend on the size of the pan that you use. What I'm going to do here is actually cut down some of the larger pieces that were in the cans. I'm also going to sprinkle some sugar on top and that's going to sweeten up those peaches a bit. So once I've done that I'm going to set my peaches aside and cover them up because I'm going to get ready to work on the crumb mixture. So for the crumb mixture, you're going to take those bags of Betty Crocker oatmeal cookie mix and you'll pour all of those into a bowl. I'm going to be using four bags for this particular recipe. It's difficult to get open, but you're going to pour all those in the bowl. And make sure you get it all in there. Once you have that dry cookie mix, you're going to begin to cut in small pieces of the margarine or butter. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using four sticks of butter. As you can see, it's four, four, and four. So it's going to be four sticks of margarine, four bags of the oatmeal cookie mix, and four cans of peaches. And I typically will match the amounts uh, depending on the size of the pan. If I'm making a smaller one, I may be using three, three, and three. Or if I'm making a really small one, two, two, and two. But it'll always be the same for each ingredient. So I'm cutting these into smaller pieces. I let the butter sit out on the counter so that it gets soft. You don't need to melt it. Uh, but I cut each and every one of those pieces in there. Put it all in. And it will look just like this. This makes it a little easier to mix it together. So I'm just going to take my knife and blend it accordingly, but that's not it. I'm also going to use a hand mixer and that's going to help create a crumb-like consistency which is going to make for the best peach cobbler you've ever tasted. So I'm going to blend that for a bit here. It should look crumb-like like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So once you have that, you're going to sit that aside, bring those peaches back over, and you're going to cover that evenly with the oatmeal and margarine mixture. So you're just going to spread that all over the peaches. Make sure you get all the corners. And you may not use the full mixture. Uh, it depends on the depth of your pan. But I like to just get it evenly across all the peaches all over. And just spread it. Spread it all the way. Oop. The other side as well. And that's going to bake really nicely in the oven. And then I pour a little bit of sugar on top as well. And that helps to sweeten that crust mixture. And it won't be overly sweet. I've made this many, many times before. So then you'll use a knife to kind of swirl in that sugar. You really don't want to see the white residue uh, once you're finished baking. So once you do that, it should look something like this. Pretty easy, pretty nice. You're going to put that in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And voila, you will have a beautiful brown sugary peach cobbler mix. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Say mm -hmm. yeah. Say give me a thumbs up. Is it good? Okay.